and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the process from going from a red supergiant to supernova and into the neutron and the black hole. Now, in my previous video I spoke about the fact that the sun, the star that you talk about has to be less than eight solar masses to go the red giant route. If the star is greater than eight solar masses, it will go the red supergiant route. And this means that the core is huge, okay? This means it will keep contracting and keep contracting and keep contracting until the point when something special happens. Now, every time you run that, it runs out of fuel, it will go to the next element to fuse to make more fuel. But from nuclear physics, if we look at the uh, nuclear number, versus the binding energy per, per nucleon, you have a graph that looks like this, which peaks at iron. Elements, when they decay or fuse, want to become more stable. They want to have more binding energy per nucleon. Iron is the most stable element. It has the highest value of binding energy per nucleon. Which means that to increase the number of binding energy per nucleon before iron, I must get bigger. So there's nuclear fusion. So elements like hydrogen and helium, when they are fusing together, are actually becoming more stable. But after iron, if I was to become bigger, I'm becoming more unstable. So if I was going to fuse anything bigger than iron, or fuse iron, I would actually, instead of becoming more stable, I'd be calling unstable. And this means that I won't be emitting energy, I would have to absorb energy to do that. To make something more unstable, I have to give it energy, I have to absorb energy. So this is what happens in the star, and this is why it's particular to red supergiants. They have the capacity, because their core is so big, to keep decay and contracting, getting to the point where they are at iron. And when they get to iron, and it runs out of, uh, when it gets to the point before iron, when it tries to fuse iron, that's when instead of emitting energy, I have to absorb energy. Because I can't, I'm becoming more unstable. So the only way I can explain this, we already know that 3 over 2 kT equals a half m c r m s squared. We already know that temperature is directly proportional to energy. I also know that pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So if all of a sudden, instead of emitting energy, I'm going to absorb it, that's going to affect my temperature. And if my temperature goes down, my pressure goes down too. And it's a very sudden thing. The easiest way I can explain it is get a balloon and popping it with a needle. You are decreasing the pressure very, very quickly. Much like fusing iron would do. This is what we call supernova. The core will contract ridiculously quickly while the corona will expand explosively. During this time, elements of a higher um, attribute fuse, and this is how we get the higher elements in the universe. Things like gold or uranium, etc, etc, etc. This is where they come from. They come from a supernova. So the more complicated atoms, the uh, complicated um, elements, come from supernova. Now, what is left is important, depending on how much the core weighs. And we call this the Chandrasekhar limit. Okay, pro pro uh, apologies for pronunciation. That if the core is greater than 1.4 solar masses, it will become a neutron star. A neutron star is a star that has so much gravitational force 
that it can take the proton and the electron to a stable baryon and a stable lepton and fuse them back into a neutron. Okay. But if the core is greater than three solar masses, so this is just the core after the supernova. So the supernova's happened, explosively had the corona go everywhere, leaving just the core, which is contracted really good. If the core is greater than three solar masses, it has the potential to become a black hole. But it has to meet another criterion. It has to be smaller than the Schwarzschild radius, which is what my next video is about. So that there is the process where a red supergiant tries to fuse iron, absorbs energy instead of emits it, and causes this rapid, explosive thing called a supernova, leaving either a neutron star or a black hole. My next video, I'll explain the Schwarzschild radius.